Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Gould, and I'm a news media production specialist here at the School of Journalism. In today's video, we're going to look at how to shoot a video with a smartphone, and we're going to focus on framing and focus. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know several things, including how to better frame your shots, about issues related to rolling shutter and what that is, and some advantages of using manual focus. In some situations, you'll find yourself alone and needing to be on camera, whether it's a live Google Hangout or whether it's a stand-up, and this is how you frame it. I'm going to find my best side, which is actually this side, and again, lens to the left, and that's also true for this camera as well. The, the, the other lens is on the left of, my, uh, uh, of the device. I'm going to turn my shoulders. Now, if I shoot the camera like this for the, say I'm doing a stand-up, Residents here say that they're disappointed. Right, a couple things, my finger's in the shot, so I have to be careful with that. Uh, it's very dangerous. Don't ever do this over an open sewer or an ocean or something. You can drop this quite easily. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat the shot just a little bit. I'm going to show you this video here. I'm going to drop my arm. See what I'm doing with the elbow? I'm dropping the elbow. So rather than a long shot with my elbow and hand in it, I'm going to bend the shot just a little bit like this, and I'm going to talk into it like this. Now, I'm going to use this microphone so I'll have a mic set up and I'm going to hold it just out of the frame and I can see that on that shot. Residents here say they're disappointed with the council's decision and they plan to appeal next week. For Ryerson News, I'm Gary Gould. Boy that's fun, right? See we can all do it. But you see what I'm doing? I'm going to cheat it. I don't want a big weird shoulder. I'm going to kind of cheat it in a little bit and I'm going to give myself a nice medium close-up. Where's the medium close-up? Right here, armpit. So you're going to cut off Dr. Gary Gould. Boom. You, if you want it to say Dr. Gary Gould, you can put a key up that says Dr. Gary Gould. But um, just remember, best resolution is on this side of the camera, but in a pinch, sometimes I will use this one. When we're shooting, we don't want a lot of fast panning or tilting, and there's a reason for that, not just because we don't like panning or tilting, but um, when you do a fast pan, there's something called a rolling shutter, and it's the way that these devices record the video. So this and DSLRs, they use what's called a CMOS chip. But the CMOS chip is a, uh, a chip that records from the top of the chip down. That's how it scans it. And if you move it quickly, it doesn't scan the bottom part fast enough, and so it looks like kind of like this. So if I go back and forth, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on this, but maybe on the pedestals. But if I go back and forth quickly, the pedestals will look like they're going like this. And that's because the, the chip, the device that's recording the picture, isn't able to technically record the whole image at the same time. It's, it's lagging. So you just be careful of that. Or if there's lots of high speed, right, motorcycles, that kind of stuff. Again, think ahead. What am I going to shoot if there's lots of action and try to get another camera? Um, but again, I also appreciate you might be somewhere where things are happening and this is the only device you have. Record it. It's not the end of the world. It might look a little laggy, but if it's great footage, it's still great footage, right? Another thing that'll give you great footage is using manual focus with your smartphone. This is also defaults to autofocus. When I'm shooting video, that might be fine, okay? At first, I'm shooting somebody over there at a parade. Well, then somebody walks through and the camera will change both autofocus and auto exposure to my hand. So now the focus rather than being in the background is now up in the, in the foreground and so the focus is going to pull and change and then when that person walks through then the person in the background, my subject, will then refocus which will look amateur. Manual focus is your friend and a lot of the smartphones now too, both Android and uh, I don't know about the Apples, but there a lot of them are putting in more um, uh, camera features, more manual features, override features as well. And if you're a photographer, you'll appreciate that, so you can over, overwrite all kinds of stuff. In this tutorial, we looked at several things, including how to better frame your shots, about issues related to rolling shutter and what that was, and some advantages of using manual focus. So why don't we stop now and check our learning with a quiz? Well, that's our tutorial for today, and be sure to check out the other tutorials that we've posted online. For Ryerson School of Journalism, I'm Dr. Gary Gould, and I'll see you again.